One of the subtle techniques Floyd Mayweather Jr. uses that makes him so frustrating to fight against is his use of his forearms to control his opponents. He will often use this to take control of his opponent's head or hands after he punches so that they can't punch him back. This use of his forearm also allows him to set up another punch with his free hand. So we see Floyd shoots the left uppercut and instead of retracting his hand and possibly getting countered, he immediately uses his forearm to control Berto's head, smothering any counter attempt. So you see that in punching range, Floyd is using his left arm right now, which means his left side is actually open for Berto's right hand. However, since he's controlling Berto's head, Berto won't be able to get any torque on that right hand because he can't bring his head with him because Floyd's holding it in place with his forearm and Floyd still has his right hand to defend against Berto's left hand. So even if Berto were to throw like a left hook, then Floyd still has his right hand to protect himself and Berto would be throwing it blind. And as you see, this also blinds Berto and holds him in place. So Floyd can set up a punch with his free hand or his right hand. And then you see off of the control, Floyd uses his free hand to set up free punches on Birdo. And you notice he only does this after he notices that Birdo is only using his left hand to grab a hold of Floyd. So he knows that the threat of Birdo's left hand is gone, so he could now freely use his right hand to punch him. Okay, so here's an example of the most common way Mayweather uses his forearm control. When fighting on the inside, he looks to take advantage by pushing his forearm against both of his opponent's arms to pin them in place. This is so effective because he only uses one arm to control both of his opponent's arms, leaving him with a free hand to punch. And you can't really see it in this picture here, but the key to doing this is that Floyd's left arm is horizontal, so it's blocking Berto's guard, who's in a high guard. And there you see him freely shoot the right uppercut with his free hand and then control by pushing off and then pop another right hand. And here's another example. You see Floyd try to use his left arm to pin Ricky Hatton's gloves by pushing it horizontally against his arms so that he could free up his right hand and then shoot that right hand to the body. Notice you see the uppercuts from Floyd using his free hand after he pins Ricky Hatton's gloves. And this is my favorite way of inside fighting and being lazy. See, you could really pin your opponent's hands downs and get the advantage while not working very hard. After Mayweather connected with a punch, reversing the pattern. So once again, we're gonna see Floyd control Hatton, control Hatton's gloves with his left hand and land the right uppercuts to the body with his free right hand again. So you're gonna see right here, he's actually gonna push off to give him space to land the right hand and see what happens after. After landing the right hand, Floyd continues the control by switching control from his left hand to his right hand to keep Hatton in place so he can now set up a punch with his now free left hand. Rick is making him have to fight. Al Hatton is hurt. And let's just watch Floyd put it all together. Look how, how he first controls with his left arm, lands the right hand, and then throws the right hand again, and then off of that right hand he controls with his right hand so he can throw the left hand, and then, then he switches back to control with his left hand, he's just always controlling his opponents. See how he controls with his right hand, throws the left hook, throws the right hand, controls with his right hand, and then throws the left hook, throws the left hook, controls with his left hand, throws his right hand. It's a very fluid combination that he's throwing and he just never allows his opponents to get off. And this is what you should be doing if you want to really minimize the amount of times you get hit. And so I wanted to end this with the fact that Floyd almost always gets away with leading and not getting countered after his punch because he always controls his opponents after he punches. See here against Shane Mosley, he throws this huge straight right hand and falls into it which is something we're taught not to do because you could easily be countered afterwards. However, Mayweather gets away with this because he immediately controls Mosley right after, preventing a counter from Mosley and even allows him to set up another punch safely. 
And I just want to say this form of forearm control is so rare in boxing, but is so important when fighting on the inside. To prove this point, Lomachenko used the same forearm control to pin Jorge Linares' arms so he could land this liver shot that ended the fight. This is really high level stuff. It's Unbelievable stuff. stuff. As always, thank you everybody for watching. If you liked what you saw and want to see more, please subscribe to the channel. As I said in my last video, February will be the month of Mayweather, so the rest of the videos this month of February will be a Floyd Mayweather video. I'll probably also do a Wilder vs. Fury 2 video, and I'm really excited for the end of the month around when Mayweather and my birthday takes place. I'm going to be releasing a very special video, something very different, so I'm super excited for it, and I hope you are too, and please stay tuned for that. So as always, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Thank you all for watching. But fuck it, it's all in due time. I turn the blood to a rug who dreams of being a people. Don't want to, I need to. You gotta learn to keep us awake. But when you come up in a place where everyone got a peaceful and peaceful, this is just part one way to the sea. Yo, this bitch.